Let's take a look at what Tier 2 implementation looks like for one school. Hamilton High School is a mid-sized school that educates roughly 700 students each year. Like other secondary schools in the same state, Hamilton struggles with implementing an effective and efficient system of tiered supports. The school has invested resources at all tiers to help improve outcomes and boost graduation rates. Let's take a look at the steps they've taken to improve Tier 2. At Hamilton, there was no shortage of data. Teachers and administrators had been collecting all sorts of information. Attendance, grades, academic skill, discipline referrals. But the data wasn't being used well or regularly. As a first step toward improving Tier 2, the school conducted a data inventory and mapped out the schedule of data collection across the school year. This allows the Tier 2 team to plan how and when students in need of targeted support can be identified. With decision rules defined, the team can predict what types of student needs are in the school and how prevalent those needs are across the student population. Armed with that information, the Tier 2 team can prioritize supports to add to their menu of interventions. Since many at-risk students at Hamilton were presenting with low engagement, poor study or organization skills, or low reading performance, the team searched for interventions that held promise for addressing those needs, as evidenced by quality, independent research. They relied heavily on available resources for vetting the quality of interventions. Among the pool of high quality interventions, they sought out those that would be a good fit for the context, could be implemented with fidelity, and for which they could ensure their teachers would have the capacity and resources needed. Starting with evidence-based interventions was a good foundation. The team knew, however, that quality interventions don't achieve desired outcomes unless they are implemented well and matched to the student need for which they can be effective. With this in mind, the team set out to ensure all relevant staff understood what the intervention was, why it was important for the students, and how to implement it. For each intervention, they clearly articulated how students might who might benefit are identified, how progress will be monitored, and how they will know when students in the intervention were ready for more, less, or different support. All of this work increases the likelihood that each intervention will be as effective at Hamilton as it has been in other settings. The team knows that desired outcomes won't occur or sustain if they don't plan for ongoing evaluation and support of the intervention implementation. So they provided initial training and ongoing coaching for everyone involved. They also set in place routines for regularly checking on the health of each intervention. This allows them to keep tabs on whether or not they are getting the most for their efforts. When they find that an intervention isn't as effective as expected, they can quickly address the issues to improve implementation and boost outcomes. Because every school year gets busy and we often lose sight of our initial plans, the team captured the schedule of actions across the year. This helps them follow through on and reap the rewards of all of their careful planning.